Phelan's Juneteenth Surprise by LeVay Lavette and illustrated by David Wilkerson. Jalen's Juneteenth Surprise, a little golden book. No way! Jalen's jaw dropped as he looked at the sign. Then a big smile spread over his face. He thought back to a morning a few weeks earlier. He had been fast asleep when Papa Jimmy's shout woke him up. Aha! I found it! Jalen sat up and watched Papa Jimmy slip on the weirdest looking vest he'd ever seen. Now that's one fine frock tar, Papa Jimmy said. Frotoir? Jalen asked, trying to get the word right. What's it for, he said. It's for playing Zydeco, of course. Yes, sir. We're going to do a little two-step and dancing at our Juneteenth celebration. Jalen shook his head. He knew Papa Jimmy was speaking English, but nothing he was saying made any sense. What was Zydeco? What was Juneteenth? Jalen was still trying to figure it out when he slid into a seat at the kitchen table. I declare, now that you all moved back home from the big city, I have some time to teach you more about our family traditions. Who don't know what Zydeco is? And with Juneteenth coming up, you better know more. Now, Daddy, Jalen's mama, Helen, said, you know we haven't had a Juneteenth celebration around here in a long time. Papa Jimmy raised his hand. I know, I know. But that's all changing. He slapped his feet and rose. <clears throat> he slapped his knee and rose to his feet. This year, we celebrate. Um, Mama, Jalen began. What's Juneteenth? Well, on Juneteenth, we remember June 19th, 1865. That was the day when enslaved African Americans in Galveston, Texas, finally learned they were free, said Mama. Back then, it took almost two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation for the news to reach them. Every year on June 19th, people across America celebrate freedom and strength by remembering that day in 1865. What are enslaved people? Jalen asked. Enslaved people were people who were first to work without pay, Mama explained. Just like us when you force us to do chores said Jalen's big sister, Hazel, coming into the kitchen. Not at all like chores, Mama said. You see, back then, many African people were taken from their countries. A lot of them were brought to America where they were forced to do hard work and treated very poorly. That's right, said Papa Jimmy. The terrible practice of enslaving African American people in America came to an end when President Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. So what's Zydeco? And what's that have to do with Juneteenth? Jalen asked. Zydeco may not have been around for the first Juneteenth, but music's always been a part of our folks' way of celebrating. And there's nothing quite like Zydeco to make you want to dance. Paw Paw Jimmy swiped through his phone. Just listen. You'll see. Here's Bo Frank. He's one fine Zydeco singer. One of the best and my favorite. Paw Paw Jimmy stood up and put on his frottoir, he clapped his foot, he bobbed his head, and then with a spoon, he played on it. There, you feel that? Magic in the air. Jalen did feel it. The music coursed through him, and his feet started tapping to the beat. That's our music, Papa Jimmy said, and don't you forget it, Jalen. Papa Jimmy, can you teach me to play the frottoir? So, Papa Jimmy taught Jalen how to play. He practiced every day. Jalen loved playing along to the Zydeco music almost as much as he loved making new inventions with his engineering kits. Now, Jalen started to... Now, Jalen stared at the sign. Bo Frank was here in his town. He was playing at Juanita's restaurant that afternoon. Jalen knew just what to do. He raced home and grabbed Papa Jimmy's fatwa and ran back out the door. A big, strong woman looked down at Jalen and frowned as he approached the restaurant. 
Aren't you a little young to be here, she said. All alone. Jayla nodded. Probably, but it's just that tomorrow is Juneteenth, and my papa Jimmy told me all about it. He's hosting a Juneteenth celebration, and he just loved Mr. Bo Frank, so I just thought, sorry, kid, the woman said kindly. I'd love to help, but Mr. Frank is busy getting ready for his show. Jalen's heart sank. I understand, he whispered as he turned to go. He felt Papa Jimmy's watch on his chest. Grabbing a spoon from his bag, he made up a song, similar to the one that Papa Jimmy had first played. Jalen closed his eyes and two-stepped to his beat. Before long, a large crowd surrounded him. They were dancing, clapping, and singing along. Hey, you're pretty good, a voice said. Jalen opened his eyes and found himself face to face with Bo Frank. Jalen's heart pounded. This was it. This was his chance. My papa Jimmy loves you and we're having a Junji celebration. I just wanted to know if you would consider coming. I mean, if you can get away, that is. It would be the best surprise for my papa Jimmy. Bo Frank laughed. Um, I think I got all that, he said. And I'll tell you what, I'd be happy to attend your Juneteenth celebration tomorrow as long as you agree to play with me. The next day, Jalen watched as Bo Frank made his way onto the stage. Beside him, Papa Jimmy was so surprised he jumped for joy. What? How? He stuttered. Jalen grabbed Papa Jimmy and hugged him tight. Surprise! Happy Juneteenth, Papa Jimmy, he said. Uh, if you excuse me, I got a show to play. And that's just what he did. Happy Juneteenth, everyone. The end. Hey, 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 it's story time with Miss J. Hey, 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 it's story time with Miss Jay, let's get reading story time with Miss Jay. Let's get thinking story time with Miss Jay. Hey, 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 it's story time with Miss Jay. Hey, 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 it's story time with Miss Jay. Happy reading.